47 News at 10 starts now. Mixed reviews for the Lansing Mayor's 2014 budget. It's our top story tonight. Mayor Verge Bernero's budget calls for more investments and makes no layoffs. The head of Lansing's financial health team, however, was disappointed. As former Mayor David Hollister tells Faye Lee, Mayor Bernero's budget may be good politics, but it's poor policy. Mayor Bernero presented a not so painful budget, but his financial health team is feeling the pain and the leader of the group is not hiding his disappointment. I don't consider it Lansing 2.0. I consider it Lansing 1.01. He, he just simply tinkered with the budget and kicked the can down the road. The team suggested painful cuts, selling golf courses and even City Hall. They push for setting money aside to deal with the rising legacy costs. There are two problems, the immediate deficit and the long-term legacy, and you've got to deal with them both. He dealt with the one. He ignored the other. Former Mayor Hollister hoped for bold moves to deal with the long-term structural problems and says the city had a chance after decreasing its deficit by $4 million. And we chose to restore furlough days, bring on a new detective, uh, buy some new fire trucks. Our fleet's uh, getting old. Um, some of our frontline fire trucks are 15 years old. Not everyone is critical. The Lansing Firefighters Union is relieved there are no further cuts. Mayor Bonero didn't want to speak on camera, but called the financial health team's recommendations bold, provocative, and far reaching, saying it'll take years to implement. He went on to say he looks forward to working on the team's recommendations, but for Hollister, delaying action is not good enough. I said before, you can run, but you can't hide. In Lansing, Faley, Fox 47 News. Mayor Bernero did adopt the financial health team's suggestion of increasing BWL user fees to bring in more revenue.